What's up guys, Artem MMA Analysis here, back with another video. And we've got the UFC 271 full card picks. I've done my research, I've done a lot more research than I did in the pre in the the first time I made the video, which was a couple of days ago by the time this video probably comes out. A couple of picks have changed, but for the most part I'm still picking the kind of the same guys. A couple of guys that I was on the fence I'm now a lot more confident on. But let's just get into the first fight. Mike Mathitha versus Jeremiah Wells. As you guys know, I'm from New Zealand. I'm gonna be a big, big fan of Mike Mathitha after he makes his UFC debut, win or lose, but one thing that does concern me, man, I am a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried about his MMA experience, I'm a little bit worried about the fact that Jeremiah Wells uh, is probably going to be able to take this fight to the ground, he's got very good body lock takedowns, he's able to clinch up. Mike Mathitha in his fight with Dim Skellies, Dim Skellies did clinch up with him up against the cage quite a bit. But he was never really able to get the fight to the ground. But that's the difference between Jeremiah Wells and a guy like Dim Skillies. I do think Jeremiah Wells will be able to get the fight to the ground if he wants to. On the feet though, Jeremiah Wells, when he does throw, he's throwing a lot of power shots. And he's not going to be throwing in anywhere near as much volume as Mike Mathitha. Mike Mathitha throws a lot of volume, which is what you like to see. Considering the fact that um, he's going to be a very, very high level striker with a lot of striking experience. As I said, Israel Adesanya uh, claims to... That he's had over 100 fights in China. Um, I mean, I'm going to believe that. I know his professional kickboxing record is something like 54 and 14, 55 and 14, something like that. So he does have a pretty good and extensive kickboxing record. He's fought over in Glory Kickboxing as well, I believe. Uh, King in the Ring as well, uh, over in New Zealand here as well. Jeremiah Wells, on the other hand, he's coming off a knockout win over Wiley Alves, Colby Covington's father. But um, in that fight, man, he was kind of throw. What he does is he kind of throws. And he kind of closes his eyes. That's where Mike Mathitha is definitely going to be able to capitalize on the feet against Jeremiah Wells here. But prior to that, he was the Cage Fury FC welterweight champion as well. A couple of good wins there. He lost to Vinicius de Jesus. Not really too bad of a loss, really. But apart from that, he's just beaten good guys. Mike Mathitha, on the other hand, I just think that it's a little bit too much of a test too soon. I just think the Orion Koske fight would have been a lot more beneficial to him in his career. I'm just going to have to... Go. Oh, man. I picked Mike Mathitha the first time. I really want to pick Mike Mathitha the second time. But I'm just going to have to flip my pick on this one, unfortunately. I'm really sorry. I really like to pick the New Zealand guys. You guys know I like to pick the New Zealand guys as well. But I'm just going to have to go with Jeremiah Wells on this one here. I do think Jeremiah is going to get the job done if Mike Mathitha's got a good chance. It's probably a knockout in the first round, to be honest. Maybe catch Jeremiah Wells as he's throwing his heavy punches with his eyes closed. Man, Jeremiah Wells by KO. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe a TKO towards the end um, of the whole fight. Maybe a submission as well. We don't really know how good Mike Mathitha's ground game is. He does have a submission win uh, about three years and six months ago, but his opponent really didn't know what he was doing on the ground, let's be honest. Jeremiah Wells, I don't really know about him inside the distance play, but I'm, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to decide for the majority on this one. I was really hyped up for Mike Mathitha's debut, but after I've done a bit more research, I've looked into it a bit more. Jeremiah Wells has a lot more experience as well, and um, Jeremiah Wells has cancelled fights. Have been no disrespect to Mike Mathitha, but they've been top level guys, high level guys. Then um, Mike Mathitha, in my opinion, like Jake Matthews. I think Jake Matthews would beat um, Mike Mathitha, and um, Tim Means on the other hand, that would have been a pretty awesome fight. Mike Mathitha versus Tim Means, thirty two and twelve versus three and zero. But um, no. With that being said, um, I'm just gonna have to pick Jeremiah Wells. It sucks to say. Jeremiah Wells is my official pick. If the pick changes, check out my Instagram at artem.mma.analysis. That's where I post all of my final picks, but for now I am going to go with Jeremiah Wells.